guys, it's Katya here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna be repotting my Ethereum seedlings. These guys have grown quite a lot. I did two videos on them, so do check them out to see how I started. But I'm gonna show you a few of the bigger ones just so you see how far we've come. Look at them. These are two of my biggest. This is my favorite. It kinda has less prominent veins than the other guys do but it's super pretty and they are sitting in teeny tiny pots and since i have them in quite warm space and they're still on a heating mat they dry out super fast and i have to water them like every two days which is not efficient so we're gonna repot them not all of them because Okay, so these two, for example, are pushing out new leaves. You can see them right here. And it's not really recommended to repot your interiors when they're pushing out new leaves just because it can stress them out. But I'm gonna show you a close-up because when seedlings are smaller, the new leaves tend to start off green, but now they're turning into the reddish color. And I'm just, ah, they're growing up. So we're going to repot a few of them. These are Anterium papillolaminum crossed with Anterium crystallinum. I also have crystallinum babies. These are supposed to be pure crystallinum. If that's true, this is amazing because I have so many hybridization plans for the future. I did lost one baby which was here. But the rest are doing super good. As you can see, they are pushing out new leaves and they're almost hardened so we're gonna repot majority of them and those guys have been staying in a mix of sphagnum moss and perlite and i treated them with a root booster and it kind of got saturated over here so not a fan but i can show you one root here that's this guy it pushed out beautiful new roots so we're gonna repot them into their own pots so these guys will go to these pots and, and those guys will go to bigger pots and before I do I'm gonna tell you everything that I use in my aerate mix it's a little bit different for the seedlings just because they're so small and they have very fine roots so it is recommended to use smaller particles in your mix to go with the smaller roots I've just mixed a fresh batch of it this is how it looks Inside we have perlite, we have fine bark, which is really good for the seedlings. And we also have tree fern fiber. It's one of the new components that I added to my soil and I absolutely love it. And the interiors love it. It's just good stuff. And then we just have, I put some of the, it's like some sort of insect poop fertilizer that I got. Kind of just mix it in and I will put some of these slow release into the pots with the bigger seedlings just because I feel like they're old enough and they could benefit from the nutrients. So this is the mix we're dealing with. It's very, it's very airy and porous so the roots will be getting a lot of oxygen which is what we want. So now let's just get into it. Okay, so this is our repotting setup. So I will be putting these guys into this pot so you can see the pot difference. I've taken some of them out and they really have grown the roots. So I think these guys will be perfect for them and they have a lot of room to grow so it should be good. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the biggest seedling. When you are repotting any of the plants, it's recommended to squeeze the pot and then pull the plant out at its base. Oh, it's well rooted, okay. So as you can see, this seedling has amazing root system already. There are, ooh, there's so many of the healthy roots. As you can see, I had on the bottom, I had a seedling mix as well. And on the top was the sphagnum. I'm gonna remove some of the sphagnum and just put them into the seedling mix, more or less. Okay, so this is what we are left with. As you can see, it has a really good root system and we're gonna put it up into here so it has the room to grow. Okay, first you, you'll wanna 
scourge some of the mix on the bottom like a third or like a quarter of the pot so I fill it up to somewhere around here and then we want to put the seedling inside position it nicely and then just fill the rest with the seedling mix be sure that you're gentle because even though they have grown a lot, they're still small plants. Have it centered, be sure that you tap it. This way any of the air pockets will get filled up with soil. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the top because there's some roots popping out. And this is it. So I will be getting some sphagnum moss to put it around the base of the plant. As you can see, it has aerial root starting up here and it's just it just helps for the roots to grow into media. One's up, next one. I broke a root. Why am I like this? We have the second seedling, as you can see it has really good root system as well. And the second one is done. Okay, so this is an example of weak seedling. You can see this guy has some yellowing on the edges and <laughs> it starts on a new leaf for some reason. These are the roots, they're very small compared to what we've seen before. And I'm not sure I'm comfortable enough in putting it in such a big pot. As you can see, this are the, like this is the pot size that it should be in. I think I'll just repot him into this. So here is the small guy, hopefully I think he's gonna be okay. Okay, so we are gonna continue with crystallinum seedlings. I'll repot this guy, this one, maybe this. Like this one has kinda, this is the nearest leaf and as you can see it has kinda stopped growing so it should be good. I just want to get them out of this, honestly, because I'm not interested. I think I'm gonna put them into these pots anyways. And this should be good, hopefully. But first, I gotta get them out, and this is gonna be... Oh. Well, that went smoothly. Okay, so this is the ceiling. This is its root system. As you can see, it's very well rooted. Mm, I think it's gonna be good size. The previous one had a bit bigger leaves, but they were way overdue to be repotted. So we're just gonna pop them up and hopefully they'll be fine. Doesn't have a choice though. And I won't fill up the pot all the way to the top just because I don't wanna suffocate them with soil. So here are the crystallinums. I will have to label them just so I don't accidentally mix them up because once they grow up they should be... Those are crystallinum hybrids so they do get pretty sparkly eventually. So gonna do that. Here are the poppy and crystallinum hybrids. Hopefully they're gonna be okay, like I'm a bit worried about this, hopefully I didn't repot them too soon, but I'll be sure to update you. I will just go and water them now with just water at this point, just to flush out any of the stuff that was here. I have no idea what's here. So just water today and with the big guys I will put like two granules of slow release in here because I feel like they could use it. They have a 
bit of a yellowing leaf here. So that was it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and I'll be sure to update you on the guys. So yeah, see you next time. Bye!